What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video and in today's video we're going to be showcasing what I like to call the hidden gem of the AGL Goku banner and I say that because I think a lot of people probably overlooked him since he's not the hype new transforming Goku, he's not the brand new shiny you know 120 lead but nonetheless he's actually a freaking amazing unit and you guys will see that in just a second by the way you might have noticed that he's actually not at rainbow status he's not 100 percent because i only managed to pull three copies of him during my summons so he's at 79 percent in the potential system but let's be real the bottom right path and the top left path are the most important paths to get those additionals and criticals so he's still like close to his max potential and i really want to show you guys just how good he is even not rainbowed so F it, we're freaking doing this. So, let's take a quick look at what he does. Uh, these are his stats, they're they're okay, they're okay. Um, his leader skill is super physical types, key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 90%. His super attack is 20 times Kaioken, Hamehameha, I'm just gonna wait for it to come back in a second. Here we go. Greatly raises the attack for one turn, which is a 50% attack increase and causes supreme damage to enemy. His passive is Double Edged Sword, which doesn't really make a lot of sense because Double Edged Sword really means like you hurt yourself and the enemy, but he doesn't really hurt himself. Attack and defense plus 80%, plus an additional 20% attack with each attack received up to 120%. So on the surface, it looks like he would get up to a 200% attack boost after being hit six times. But according to the Dokkan Wiki, where I get a lot of my information from, uh, they said that the attack increase from being hit actually is calculated separately from his initial 80% increase. So if you combine all of them, apparently they're like multiplicative or some multiplicative, and that word is really hard to say. I don't know. You guys know what I'm trying to say. But basically, they multiply with each other, and in at the end of the day, when you get hit up to six times, apparently his attack boost can go up to 296% total. Buff. So um, I don't know the math, like the exact math behind that. Don't ask me about it. But that's what the Dokkan Wiki said. So I'm going to go with that because they've never done me wrong. But anyways, crazy, crazy attack boost on his passive. Um, his links are actually surprisingly good. He got, he's got Z Fighters, All in the Family, Saiyan Warrior Race, Kamehameha, uh, Shocking Speed, Prepare for Battle, two of the best key links in the game, and also Fierce Battle. With a unit like this, you would normally expect him to get Shattering the Limit, right? Because he's, he's not like a new Dokkan Fest unit. He's not like a new unit that like a lot of people are going to be hyped about. So usually people just, they just slam or just slap uh, Shattering the Limit on these characters and call it a day. But nah, he got Fierce Battle, which is an awesome, awesome surprise. Another additional 15% attack there. So he's going to be really, really good. Unfortunately, only on Planet Namek Saga right now, which is not the best category, but it's okay because we're taking him on a Heroes team, and this seems like a super random team. But it will make sense in a second because uh, it took Ultimate Gohan because he has Shocking Speed, uh, Fierce Battle, as well as Z Fighters, which is 15%, so he might actually be one of the best licking partners for this new Goku. Let's go. Boss Rush 2. Uh, I'm going to keep it easy, keep it chill today because... I just feel like it. You know, I just, I just feel like I don't want to present too much of a challenge for myself. I don't want to really use my brain too much. It's a little bit early in the morning right now when, when I'm recording. So I just want to like do this, see some nice numbers, and then call it a day. All right, here we go, guys. Um, yo, the character I want to showcase is never in the first rotation. It's actually super annoying. So I'm just gonna, you know, give these guys any these, these random orbs. It doesn't really matter because we just want to showcase that Kaoken Goku. This is really damn annoying. But whatever, whatever. Hope you guys are having an awesome day, by the way, if you're watching right now. Actually, no, it doesn't matter when you're watching. Anytime you're watching this video, hope you're having an awesome, awesome day because why not? Why not? You know, just more happiness in the world is good for everybody. <laughs> I sound like a freaking hippie right now. Okay, here we go. Yo, was that freaking Piccolo? That was Piccolo, wasn't it? Yo, Piccolo is such a monster. But I already did the showcase of the Piccolo. If you guys haven't seen it yet, go check it out on my channel. It's from about two days ago. So I'm not going to talk too much about him. Um, let's see, let's see. So, yeah, okay, the Vegeta actually gives him a little bit more attack, so I'm gonna go with this. Here we go, we're gonna try to put him in front of as many attacks as possible. So, this turn, he's only gonna get hit once, which means he'll get an additional 20% attack for a total of 100 something percent. Because, like they said, like I said before, they multiply with each other. So, 934k off the bat. He's only been hit one time, by the way. And we're gonna get 930k, an additional. Yo, this man knows we're showcasing him. He is showing out right now. And that super is pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. Almost 2 million crit. Yo, that turn he did just almost just did 3 million damage right off the bat on his first turn. And he only got hit once, guys. So what am I? Which, yo, I, <laughs> what 
what can I say? What can I say about this guy, man? He is such a monster. So what I'm going to do actually is put this guy at the end because I want him to eventually link up with the Kaoken Goku. So orbs here don't really matter once again. But yeah, I want this uh, Ultimate Gohan to link up with him because he also gives him the Z Fighter link. He gives him Fierce Battle, of course. He gives him Prepare, uh, prepare for Battle or Shocking Speed. Probably, sh I think Shocking Speed. And he also gives him uh, All in the Family, which doesn't really matter in this case, but it is the additional 15% defense boost. So in events where maybe, you know, you're struggling a little bit with, with tanking, that could help a little bit too. I don't know. I mean, although you don't really want to tank too much. Hmm, let me think about that, actually. You know what? This guy can tank a little bit, though, because uh, I believe... Yeah, I said earlier when I was reading it, it said that he gets also a 80% defense boost, right? So also also an 80% boost on his defense, and uh, you know that will allow him to tank a little bit. So 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 there's that. Okay, uh, not 149, 149. Oh, so they actually give each other the exact same. Oh, it's because this guy gives him Z fighters, but this guy gives him fierce battle. Okay, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter then. We'll just we'll just go with this because if we keep the Gohan with him, he'll get that 35% all the time as opposed to the 30% from the Vegito. But yeah, it's not a huge difference. Here we go. Okay, so this is going to be with two supports. 1.1 mil, but he's only been hit once. Remember, he's only been hit once. So he has five more hits of attack buffs. Oh my goodness. 2.8, uh, 2 point, almost 2.1 mil. Jesus. Wow. Okay. <laughs> he's really good, guys. Like, I, I went into the showcase knowing how good he was going to be. But these numbers still impress me. Don't impress me. Oh, wow, we're getting so many transformations, too. This is going to be a great showcase, man. Okay, we got two Goku transformations. We got a Piccolo Nail transformation. Um, I, I love this new Piccolo, man. I, I really, really do love this new Piccolo. I'm not even playing. Like, he's just so, so cool. Here we go. Um, I might actually, like, this is just a random team I threw together just for this just for this uh, Kaoken Goku, but I might just keep this team and play around with it because it seems to be doing pretty well, and I, I have a lot of fun watching these transformations all day, so, yeah, I might just keep this one. I might just keep this one. By the way, let me know what you guys think about the new Goku, uh, AGO Goku, and the new Tech Frieza. I personally don't have Tech Frieza. I never pulled him, so I can only speak to the Goku, but the AGO Goku, honestly, at this point right now, is a little bit underwhelming to me. I, I think that I expected a little bit more in terms of damage output. Um, and, of course, I mean, everyone knows about the Super Tech animations. Like, they're, they're super, super underwhelming up to the point of their final transformation. You know, when he gets to Blue Goku, he's, he looks really dope, right? He's really, really awesome. But before then, um, it's, it's really not that impressive. Ooh, okay, awesome. Okay, so we got the... We got him to link up with the Ultimate Gohan, so Ultimate Gohan can take these orbs, doesn't matter too much. But now he gets both Fierce Battle and All in the Family, and he's also gonna hit, gonna get hit three. Actually, no, he. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, he's not gonna get those three hits because he's gonna kill him on this turn. Damn, okay, we're gonna have to wait until the next boss fight to see him at his full potential, I think, because he's only been hit once his whole fight. Um, and normally it shouldn't take. You know what, it's because it's, these are older boss fights, so I guess they don't attack as much. But normally it doesn't take that much effort to actually get him to hit, get hit six times. Trust me, if you're taking him on like a harder event like Ultra Instinct Goku or something, then you will be able to get hit like six times, no problem, probably within the first few rotations. But yeah, I mean, I guess it's fine, whatever. Um, as I was saying about the Goku though, the, the, the AGL Go Goku, like, he, his super attack only looks cool. Uh, it's only a unique super attack, at least, up until, uh, like, in the final transformation. And the same thing with the Frieza. And even at that point, even when they get to their final transformations, they have those new super attacks. I still think it's a little bit underwhelming, be just because they're literally the same super attacks. Just, um, like, just, like, opposites, right? Like, I think I think Goku's going one way and Frieza's going the other way or something like that. Or, like, Goku has, like, one hand and the Frieza has the other hand. But other than that, it's the same super attack, just with different characters, man. And I, I wish they would have done something different with that as well. Maybe I'm asking for too much. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I just think that it was a little bit lazy on their part. Uh, ooh, what should we do? Okay, if Gohan doesn't get the super attack off here, maybe Goku will get another shot in before we move on to the next round. But yeah, um, it's just... <laughs> it's just in my opinion, I think they're a little bit disappointing. I know that they're actually you know, set up more for the next meta, you know, because I, I, I think that when longer events come out and, uh, you know, harder events come out, like, you, you'll actually see the final transformation a little bit more. Because another issue right now is that these fights, like a lot of these Dokkan Fest events just don't last long enough for us to see the Goku, the blue Goku or the Golden Frieza. 
349k, and of course, he hasn't been hit at all. Like, like this fight hasn't been hit even once yet. I think maybe it was a mistake to take him here. Um, just because, or like this boss boss rush, just because these guys don't attack too often. But you know what? We did get him to hit, get hit once, so the next turn he comes back, he'll get at least the 20%. But I really want to see him at the full 120% full boost on his passive, you know, multiplied with his regular 80% passive for supposedly a 296%. Or maybe it also includes him supering too. Maybe that 296% includes the calculation of him supering, getting that extra 50% for one turn. Hmm, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm not I'm not the the guy to go to for for these calculations. I was never like a huge math nerd or anything like that, which I know a lot of people are gonna like, you know, either make comments about or like just be starky, like, you know, in here and be like, oh, yo, 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 okay, no Dokkan attack off. We got the full Dokkan meter, but we didn't manage to get the actual super attack off with any of them, so we're gonna save that for the Kaoken Goku for sure. But as I was saying, um, yeah, some of you are going to be like, yo, you're, you're a freaking Asian, man. How, how come you're not a math nerd? <laughs> but I just, that was never my thing, man. No, the math was just never my thing. Okay, here we go. This Goku is 100% getting the super off. And he's going to get that stoke on attack. And we're going we're gonna to see something hype. We're going to see something hype. Let's go. So, Freeze is going to attack us once. So, he's going to get at least a 40% 40% boost on his super. And I'm going to try to not miss any of these. Even though I'm on, on my computer, I'm not really used to, to clicking on the computer right now. Oh my god, it's so fast. Ah! <laughs> Yo, the worst time to make it go just like freaking flash mode. Oh, sorry guys. I, I tried my best, but like I said, it's really hard to click on the computer. Um, just because it's like a bigger area that I'm clicking on. And I'm just not used to it. But we should still see something nice here. Come on. Yo, 2.5 mil from the Goku, man. 2.5 mil from the Goku. Very impressed so far. I don't know if you, about you guys from watch, just watching the showcase. A 79% potential system, physical Kyle Ken Goku. Definitely, definitely the surprise of the banner. And we actually managed to get this Goku to go. God, man, wow, that's 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 awesome. Okay, um, does this Goku give him anything? Not enough, not enough. All right, so take those orbs. And on the next turn, I think on the next fight, we will use that Deborah cookie to do a little bit of a mini nuke. I know some people like to see those um, big nukes with like the actual nuke leads, but I personally, I don't want to put in the effort to do that. And I'll, I'll, obviously, like honestly, it's not realistic. Like no one's gonna be running nuke leads for events, right? So the most you're gonna be doing is Deborah cookie. Freaking Goku just hit for 2.2 mil crit. Like what is this ridiculousness? What is this absolute madness, man? Like, no, I just, I just love this guy. I just, I just freaking love this Goku. He is so, so good, guys. And if you pulled him and haven't really tested him out, and taken him for a spin, I would definitely recommend investing in him. I actually used nine Kai's. I used nine. No, I used some Sleepy Kai's. I think I used three, and two of them managed to work somehow. And I used the rest physical like Grand Kai's, and I totally, totally do not. Not regret that at all like 100% worth my orb investment 100% worth my Kai investment you know, those sacrificed old mans went to good use <laughs> they went to good use trust me okay we're gonna fight Goku Black now we'll just pop the Deborah cookie through it we're gonna pop the Deborah cookie and oh oh that's nice that, that, that that's nice okay I, I absolutely love it when you get a full freaking field full full field of um physical orbs when you do that because there was this one time we did a showcase where literally zero orbs changed not a single orb changed 2.2 mil attacks that goku is done for goku black that is goku black game over gg you're out 2.3 mil crit oh beautiful absolutely beautiful you know what? i'm gonna do one more Alright, so I got really tired of trying to get this guy hit six times in one of those boss rush stages because those older Dokkan events honestly just don't hit enough per turn. So now we're on the LR Vegito event, probably still one of the hardest int events in the game. And he's also linked up with Ultimate Gohan. He's also about to get a Dokkan attack off and he's been hit six times. So this is almost the perfect setup. Goku even went blue, but I don't even care. We're not here for the Goku, we're here for this Kaioken Goku. So let's see what happens this is gonna be really really nice um we should get a dokkan attack off we should be able to get a dokkan attack off come on um yo come on don't do this to me yo should this is this enough yo we just missed it okay 
That sucks. That sucks. But you know what? You know what? It's okay. It's okay. We're still gonna see something really, really nice from him. And maybe the Dokkan attack would have skewed off, skewed the numbers a little bit. 1.3 mil. And additional 300, almost 400k crit as well. Double crit back to back. This guy is so good, guys. Just trust me. He is such an amazing, amazing unit. If you haven't given him the, you know, the respect he deserves, you know, the time, the play time that he deserves, definitely, definitely focus on boosting him up. Because he, he, you're not going to regret it, man. You're not going to regret it. And we're also going to see a nice attack from Blue Goku. That's a dope super attack. Yo, not even half damage that my boy Kaioken Goku did though. Let's be real. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing, of course. Kaioken Goku has type advantage and also more investment in the dupe system. But nonetheless, man, those numbers are just absolutely impressive. They're just very, very impressive. And this 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 unit does impress me very, very much. If we had gotten that Dokkan attack off, it would have been even nicer. But you know what? Instead, we're gonna save this Dokkan attack now for this blue Goku. And it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be, you know what? I'm just gonna end off this video with a nuke from Blue Goku, because why not? Why not? We already saw what we wanted to see from the Kaoken Goku, so it really doesn't matter. You guys already have a good idea of like just how much of a monster he is. I don't have to sell him anymore. And now we're gonna get a Dokkan attack off with the Deboro Cookie buffs for from this 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 Blue Goku. So it's it's gonna be dope. It's gonna be a dope way to end off the showcase, regardless of whether it's the guy we're showcasing or not. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Oh, that was mad slow. Yo, yo, that was mad slow. Aren't Jesus decided to bless me for, for the end of this showcase? Even though they didn't bless me earlier for the first little kind of tech I did on this uh, on this video, it was like mad fast. But now we're good, and it's gonna be such an amazing, amazing attack. Gonna do a bajillion damage. Let's see what happens. Okay, 2.8 mil. Actually, wait. Okay, okay. For a second, I was like, is that 28 million? But I'm like, no, it's 2.8 mil. All right. You know what? We tried our best. <laughs> we had everything in place. Everything was perfect. And uh, you know what? That crit wasn't the most impressive, but it finished off the showcase for us. So that's all I'm asking for. I, I just wanted to end off this video on a high note, and I think we did. But there you have it, my friends. Um, that is physical. Kaioken Goku, the new Goku off the AGL Goku banner that we just got. And he is just... Amazing, amazing, amazing unit. Absolutely deserving of orbs, absolutely deserving of Kai's. You can also actually just farm him. Um, you can use the SR Goku that you pull, or you can use that white hot, no wait, what's it called? Ultimate face off. I, I forgot what it's called, but you know that event where you can farm the base form Gokus? Yeah, do that one if you want to save some save some Kai's, I guess. But it, honestly, like we're getting so many Kai's these days, it might just be worth it to throw some Kai's his way and get him to SA10 and throw him on your physical team or super team or whatever you want. He will do very well on all those teams because he has awesome links. He's just an awesome unit overall. But that's gonna do it for the showcase, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of him as well as the showcase overall. And if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. If you're first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then maybe, just maybe, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. But as always, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.